So hello there and hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So what we are going to create is a Pokemon called Magnemite. It's a bit tricky to create. So if it's tough or it's easy, that you can decide. Mix the resin and hardener until it gets completely white. And then take a paper ball and cover it with masking tape so that it stays properly intact. And now add clay on it and make it a bit circular as you are making the Magnemite's eye. Please don't try to make it more flat, try to make him as circular as possible. And once after the eye is dry after one and a half hours, you can start creating the body which is again round in shape over here. The clay that I am using is Fevicryl molded so in case if you don't have any idea about this clay, I have many videos related to it, please do check those out. So after smoothing and giving the body a proper shape, I'll just uh, do some finishing to the eye so that it looks properly. It depends on how better you want the shape, it's completely your choice. I also have to make some holes so that I can insert the screws. If you observe his body correctly, there are three screws so I am gonna give him three holes, two at the bottom and one at the top. So the half body is ready and I'll work on other half once it's completely dry. So now it's completely dry over here and I'm just using the other half. I only created the half part first because so that I can hold it while creating the second half and now the smoothing process is done and I'll just give him proper shape and also do the two holes over here as well for the two horseshoe magnets at the side. So I've just added the circular flat clay on the tape as it this clay doesn't stick to plastic and then what I've done over here is taken a wire and made this small rod and I'm wrapping this small clay thread over it so that it looks like a screw and that flat clay which is now completely hard and I've stuck it on that thing and now I'll just add a clay over it so and give it a screw shape so that it looks like a proper screw you can skip this part if you have a proper small size screw and use it but I thought I will just try to show how to make a screw as well because it was fun <laughs> and as you can see my all three screws are ready and you can see I can attach them easily over here and I painted it black before because when I painted it with metal colors, it looks more better. Now coming to the horseshoe magnet here, it is one easy way to create the horseshoe magnet. But this way can be delicate and hence it can break easily. So I'm gonna use wires first and I'm gonna create the horseshoe magnet with the help of these wires which will act as a skeleton within. And I'm gonna cover them fully with clay and for the middle part, what I've done over here is I created a clay and kept it to dry. I have created it in a shape so that it gets the inner part of the magnet and now I will cut this with the help of a spatula and I will try to give it a proper shape and later after smoothening it will look completely like this and I'm skipping the painting process because it will take the video time increase the video time unnecessarily and like this I just insert it and here is our magnemite ready I have also used a satin varnish on the complete magnemite body and I also use gloss varnish for the eyes and you can see he's completely ready. I've also added some of my little details to him so that he looks more better. You can create him, create him in any way you want. So if there's any other character that you want me to create let me know in the comment box and also if you try this out and then please do let me know by tagging me on Instagram at SMM Creations. I would love to see your artworks. Also feel free to let me know if you have any doubts and see you next time with a new creation.